hello everyone in this session we learn a little bit about cholesterol different types of cholesterol and also the lipid cutoffs that you will have to remember so that you will be able to answer the questions which might come in your next upcoming net session now we'll see what is cholesterol cholesterol is a major sterol uh, sterol can also be called as a steroid alcohol which is present in animal tissues now in organic chemistry in your 12th class you probably might have studied different types of functional groups correct like amines ketones carboxylic acids alcohols like that so among the functional groups if you see this cholesterol contains a functional group called sterol it's mentioned in the name itself it contains a functional group called sterol okay now this uh, cholesterol is present only in animal tissues now if the sterols are present in plant sources we call them as phytosterols okay which means if cholesterol is present only in animal sources all the vegetable oils whatever we use for example soybean oil groundnut oil or sesame oil many different types of oil are used right so all those oils are naturally cholesterol free and this is usually used as a marketing strategy by companies who sell vegetable oils okay now this cholesterol it can be divided into two important categories first is hdl and there is ldl actually there is one more category called as vldl but we don't give that much of important to that importance to that now we'll see only about these two that is about hdl and also about ldl this hdl if i expand it it is high density lipoprotein this high density lipoprotein is also called as good cholesterol okay now if we see ldl ldl that is low density lipoprotein it is also called bad cholesterol simply this alone that is hdl is called bad cholesterol ldl is called bad uh, sorry hdl is called good cholesterol and ldl is called bad cholesterol this alone can come as an objective type question okay now one more type of question can come from this like uh, in assertion and reason type question wherein in the assertion they might give you hdl is also called good cholesterol and in the reason they might give you uh, maybe one or two points which will be maybe explaining or may not be explaining the assertion for that type of questions if you have to answer correctly you will have to know correct why hdl is called good cholesterol and why ldl is called bad cholesterol that we will see now hdl it is also called as good cholesterol because this hdl no it acts like a vehicle it vehicle okay it carries the excess cholesterol which is present in your blood which is present in your cells back to your liver okay in the liver it gets broken down and it is excreted out in the form of bile this bile gets mixed with the feces and it gets excreted as feces okay this means if you have good hdl cholesterol levels in your body your body it it is have performing better in removing the extra cholesterol which is present in your cells or in your blood okay so having good cholesterol levels is actually good for your health it means you have better cardiac health good heart health okay now the exact opposite scenario will be true in case of ldl cholesterol that is low density lipoprotein low density lipoprotein is called bad cholesterol because this cholesterol carries the this type of cholesterol this type of vehicle carries the cholesterol towards the cells okay which means it will increase the amount of cholesterol which is present in your body which is present in your cells which is present in your blood okay if you have high ldl levels that is if you have high low density lipoprotein levels the possibility that you your blood blood vessels can develop a layer of fat inside them which we call atherosclerosis that is also higher when the possibility of this is higher the blood flow will be very less towards your organs slowly if this fat layer becomes thick and thick and thick and the blood vessel becomes a little hardened then the possibility that uh, that you might get a cardiac arrest or uh, a myocardial infarction will be higher okay there is a reason why we call ldl cholesterol as bad cholesterol so now we know the reason now why hdl is called good cholesterol and ldl is called as bad cholesterol now please remember this so that you are able to answer assertion and reason type questions if it come in exam okay now we will see the different lipid cutoffs that you will have to remember so that you can answer if it comes in objective type questions or else it can come even as the match the following question this has already come a few times okay now 
the total cholesterol levels if you see it shouldn't be greater than 200 mg per dl that is the normal cholesterol levels normal total cholesterol levels should be less than 200 mg per dl if you say ldl that is bad cholesterol it should be less than 100 mg per dl if you take hdl that is high density lipoprotein it should be greater than 40 mg per dl please remember this difference that is for total cholesterol and ldl it is shouldn't be greater than that is it should not be greater than whereas for hdl if we see it should be greater than okay it should be greater than 40 mg per dl for men and should be greater than 50 mg per dl for women okay now if we see the triglyceride levels it should be less than 150 mg per dl and if you see apolipoprotein levels it should be less than 100 mg per dl this apolipoprotein correct it is a new term it is also uh, like in november 2020 sessions if you see one question has come in which this apolipoprotein was one among the options so i thought it will be better to give you the cut off values for that as well so now in this uh, whole video maybe three or four different questions can come just from this one single slide okay like uh, why hdl is called bad cholesterol why ldl is called good cholesterol which is called good cholesterol which is called bad cholesterol and also questions about the cut offs happy studying please subscribe to our channel and please